Hello. How are you? Good day to all of you. Today we are going to discuss the differences between electric motors and generators. Do you know what these things are? Where can we use these devices? Are you familiar with electric motors? How about electric generators? How are these two electric devices work? Please read the following statements carefully. These are the objectives that we are going to consider in this lesson. Please watch this video lesson, and try your best to answer some questions at the end of the lesson. Displayed on the screen, is the schematic diagram of an electric motor. We have here on the table, the improvised model of electric motor. Take note of the different parts, and the function of each part, because after we discuss this, you will make your own electric motor. The basic parts of an electric motor contains, a rotating loop, called the armature, magnets, commutators, and brushes. An electric motor is an electric device that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. The principle of an electric motor, is based on the principle that current carrying wire when placed in a magnetic field experiences a force. In this figure, a current carrying loop of wire or armature, experienced a magnetic force, when placed within two magnets. Take note that when current is present in an armature, it become an electromagnet. Thus a magnetic field is produced around an armature. We have also here a permanent magnet. The magnetic field of a permanent magnet helps to produce a torque on the rotating armature, and the direction of the rotation, can be determined using the Fleming's left-hand rule. The opposing forces between the magnetic force of the permanent magnets, and the magnetic field of the armature, produces the rotation of the armature. Then we have the current source. In our sample electric motor, we use dry cell as a current source. Remember that, a steady direct current from a dry cell, cannot produce a changing magnetic field around the armature. That is why we use commutator. What does the commutator do, with the direct current from the dry cell? The answer is that, the commutator reverses the direction of the current, every half rotation of the armature between the magnets. Thus. When current direction is changed, it can produce a changing magnetic field. A changing magnetic field makes the armature rotates continuously. In this motor, we use a split ring commutator. Current from the dry cell, passes through the armature, via commutators, and brushes. Let's summarize the parts of an electric motor, and the function of each part. Copy these on your notebook. The first one is, the armature. The armature is a loop of wire, or field coil, that rotates when it is connected to a power source, and placed in a magnetic field. The second part is the magnet. The magnetic field of the magnet, helps to produce a torque, on the rotating armature, according to Fleming's left-hand rule. Next, we have the current source. It supplies current to the motor's armature, or field coil. Then we have the commutator. The commutator reverses the direction of the current, when the armature rotates every half turns in a magnetic field. Lastly we have the brushes. Brushes conduct current, between the current source to the armature, via commutator. Now, how do we increase the speed of rotation of the motor's armature? There are three ways, to make the rotation of the armature faster. Please copy these on your notebook. Alright. Let's discuss the importance of electric motor, in our daily life. What are the devices that uses electric motors? Listed on the table, are some electric devices that use electric motors.
Now you know that, electric motors have many uses. Without electric motors, these appliances, cannot do its functions. Now, let's discuss the working principle of electric generators. What are the basic parts of electric generators? Electric motors and generators have similar parts, though they work in reverse. Electric motors convert, electrical energy to mechanical energy. On the other hand, electric generators convert, mechanical energy to electrical energy. Generators work by electromagnetic induction. Take a look at this schematic diagram, of a generator. Compare the parts of a motor to a generator. Can you see similarities in their parts? A simple electric generator, also has a magnet, commutator, brushes, and an armature. When the armature rotates between the poles of the magnet, upon an axis perpendicular to the magnetic field, the magnetic flux around the armature, changes continuously. In this way electric voltage, or potential difference, builds up at two ends of the coil of wire, thereby, an electric current is induced. How can we tell that current, is present in the coil? Connect the two ends of the coil, to a galvanometer, or any current detector such as, an ammeter. You will observe that, the needle of the device deflected. The deflection of the galvanometer's needle indicates that, current is induced in the coil of wire. In our example here, we use a bulb as the current detector. The input energy in a generator is a mechanical energy, from a various energy sources. Some examples of energy sources, that runs the turbine of a generator, are steam from underground reservoir, near active volcanoes, wind, or energy from falling water. There are other natural sources of energy, that run the generator's turbine. You can read books, or surf the internet for additional information. In a portable electric generator, the fuel that is used to drive the generator, can be a diesel, or gasoline engine. Let's summarize the parts, and the function of each part of a generator. Copy them on your notebook. 1. The armature. The armature is also called the rotor, because it rotates in a magnetic field, when the axle of a generator rotates. Then we have the commutator. The commutator picks off the current, generated in the windings, reversing the direction of the current, when the armature rotates, every half turns in a magnetic field. Next is, the magnet or stator. Magnet provides the magnetic field. When a loop of wire, or armature rotates in a magnetic field, the armature cuts through the magnetic lines of force, so that current is produced. Finally, we have the brushes. Brushes carries current, out of the generator. So let's summarize the comparison between, motors and generators. Please copy these on your notebook. Hope you're ready for the test. Good luck. Please answer the quiz below. Try your best, to answer these correctly. All right. You've done answering the quiz for today. See ya for next lesson. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. God bless.